Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to debug your Oracle database PL SQL store procedures in VS Code using our SQL Developer extension for VS Code. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that's installed. If you go into the marketplace, just do a search on SQL Developer and let the marketplace install that into your VS Code. That'll activate the extension. From there you can define a connection. Once you're connected, you'll have the ability to browse the dictionary, including uh, procedures, types, packages, triggers, whatever you want to debug. Um, I'm going to debug a program called Debugging Debugger. I'm not super uh, creative with these names, but really I'm here to show you how to use the debugger, not how to write PL SQL. So I've got a stored procedure. It takes a single value in an integer. So that's a couple of other variables, does a bulk collect, runs a loop, calls another program, that program does some stuff, and then at the end we're done. So I just want to do step-by-step -step execution. So the first thing I need to do is make sure this is compiled for debug. And you want to make sure everything in your call stack, all the programs that are going to be run, are also compiled for debug. I've already done that. Um, that button's right here on the toolbar. So I've compiled this program for debug. I've compiled the user defined type array jobs for debug. And I've compiled um, the debugging step into procedure for debug. So that's three things compiled for debug. Now I'm ready to actually start debugging. So on the play or execute button, there's a drop down. I can either run this program or I can debug it. So I'm going to debug it. And to be able to do that, we're going to generate some PL SQL code to cause the program to run. So there's only the one input, right? So I want to supply a value of 5. If I want, I can see the PL SQL that it's going to run on our behalf. I don't need to see this. So I can close this. And then I'm just going to say debug. Now, the first thing it's going to do up here, it's prompting me for an IP address. Why is it prompting me for an IP address? Well, the way the Oracle Database Debugger works, it's using the Java Debug Wire protocol, which we use. It's very easily plugged into VS Code via their language server protocol. Um, and what that does is the database itself makes a network connection back down to the client. So this is going to be the IP address that the database uses to connect to my instance of um, VS Code on my machine. To do that in the Oracle database, you need to set up an access control list. And so we'll help you generate that code for you. So here's an example piece of code you can run on your machine or on your database to allow the database instance to connect down to your client on a certain port range and with the privilege it needs and the protocol here is that JDWP. So what I recommend for developers is you have a local instance of the database on your machine either in a container or in a virtual box instance or you have a cloud instance that you can use for debugging and so you're in control and you can define these things. If that's not your situation, if you're in a um, corporate environment and there's like a group um, development instance you're going to have to ask your DBA to grant this privilege so that you can debug your PL SQL. So I've already created that access control list rule that's going to allow me to debug. So I'm just going to hit the debug button again. I'm going to choose my IP address. And up pops the debugger toolbar. And we have a couple of debugger panels here on the left. So we have breakpoints, we have the call stack, and we have variables. So I've had a breakpoint set here, and we can see this breakpoint um, down here. So line 7 on debugging debugger. To set breakpoints in VS Code, it's really simple. You just click, and I can turn this on or off if I want. So at this point, it's up to me to just you know interact with the code. What do I want to do? I can see what things are set to. I can see that this um, jobs object, which is just this array, uh, is currently um, empty. because I haven't selected anything into it, but I've passed in a couple values, like I passed in the value of 5 to x, and I've set a couple of variables just for nothing, just to show you that we can do it. So I've got appeal SQL 
Boolean, and I've got a, um, a sysdate parameter here, so it's showing me the time. So I'm just going to start stepping. So I've done this bulk collect um, into jobs A. So jobs A is a V array. I can expand this. I can see the entire array here. Or I can expand this again and come down into an actual item in the array. So I can see what's in there item by item. I can step again. I can step again. I'm going to have to do this five times, right? So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit a breakpoint here. And instead of saying step, I'm going to say run. So it basically skipped through that four or five iterations of that three lines of code. It took me to the next line of code I want. So this is, I'm making a function call, or sorry, a procedure call to debugging step into and I'm passing the value of x to it. So what I'm going to do now, instead of stepping over, which I can totally do, I want to debug this. So I'm going to say step into. So that's automatically opened that program for me. Let me just zoom down a little bit so we can see all of the code on the screen. Or enough of it. Um, over here on the call stack, I can see where I'm at. So I came from line 16 of this program. I'm currently on line 1 of this program. I can set another breakpoint. I can say go. It's going to jump down here. So right now, full name is null because this is the line that's about to be executed. I hit step. Now full name's been set to Stephen King. So again, we're in a loop here. Surprise five different times. So this is a four counter in. And I can see um, each, each um, employee record as, as I'm doing this. Now if I get tired of this, which I am, I want this to be a short video, all I have to do is continue. And I'm going to keep doing that until I get to the end. So And it's basically going to finish. It's finished the debug. Because after at that point, there were no other breakpoints um, for it to hit. So it, it just ran to the end. So there are a couple of um, preferences you might want to look at. So if we come into settings and we look at the SQL developer settings, which are going to be under extensions. We have some things in here for the debugger. So um, you can hard code the IP address that you want it to use. Otherwise, we're going to look at the network IP addresses available in the machine and allow you to pick the one that you want to use. You can define the port range that you want to set. So this might be important if your database administrator only wants to open up a certain number of ports um, on the network. And then there's some PLSQL compiler options in here. So that is PLSQL debugging. Thanks everyone uh, for the time. If you want more information on this topic, uh, check out the video description. I'll have links to a blog post with all of the sample code. So you can run it yourself, assuming you have at least the HR schema. Cheers, everyone, and happy SQL diving.